This is Duke University. At Bank of America, a lot of our sustainability programs are really built upon the foundation that uh, climate change is real. We were one of the first financial institutions to come up with a, a climate change statement and policy. And so for us, we've built a lot of our programs on this foundation and this principle. And so we've worked over the past few years to really develop internal programs and policies that help address climate change and help mitigate climate change and we're working towards a low carbon economy. So we now have a $125 billion environmental business initiative that's really focused on making the shift from fossil fuels to a lower carbon economy. And I think that, uh, that for us that's really a foundational element of, of our environmental sustainability programs. We're really proud of a lot of the operational improvements that we've made internally over the past few years. We set a greenhouse gas emissions reduction goal, our first one in 2004, and then we set, and we reduced greenhouse gas emissions by 18% by 2009, and then we set another goal in 2011 to reduce 15%. Through the end of 2014, we had reduced by 26% on that 15% and we, we, we hope to release our, our 2015 results very soon, but we're really proud of those operational uh, improvements in our greenhouse gas emissions reduction. Another area is water. Through the end of 2014, we had reduced our water usage by 28% and through the end of 2014, 19% of our occupied space in our real estate portfolio is LEED certified and that equates to more than 17 million square feet. So it's really important to us that we're continuing to drive improvements in our workspace and that we're utilizing space that's more efficient uh, and I think that that's really resulted in a more efficient corporation overall. I think when we think about innovation and sustainability, the possibilities are truly endless. I think that we can look at the challenges presented to us, climate change and, and challenges related to our, our changing world, uh, not only as challenges and problems, but as business opportunities. I think that our opportunities are endless to create new types of energy, new types of of ways to run and fuel our world, I think that actually we're at one of the most incredibly opportune times in our in our existence where we can, you know, our future could look very different, but I think it's an exciting one. So I, I really do believe that all is not lost and that these challenges that are presented to us can actually present some really fantastic opportunities.